Hey guys, so Legends Fest 2024 is now here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a video breaking down all of the part one celebration details. I don't think there's actually too much that's different from last year. I believe for the most part, you take a look at the celebration details, at least based off of what they were talking about in the reveal. Um, a lot of it seems to be the same as last year, which honestly is not the worst thing ever because it's you know, it's still a good celebration. We still got a bunch of free stuff coming in, events, stuff like that. So I don't think it's that bad that it's just essentially the same thing as last year. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that we're going to be continuing to see, uh, I guess, continued evolution and improvements over prior celebrations. So I, I'm OK that it's similar to last year in, in the sense that the last year celebration was very good. But, you know, obviously, as the game gets, you know, older and we pass through some of these uh, some of these years here, hopefully they start to implement some new uh, new things into these big celebrations. But let's go through the details here and see what we got. So Legends Fest 2024, the once a year celebration Legends Festival 2024 is here. There are tons of fantastic events to express our gratitude for the past year. Play them to the fullest and enjoy. So obviously, first, th first things first, we have the dual LF banners, transforming Vegito Blue and transforming Goku Black into Super Saiyan Rosé. Um, I did a separate video doing a breakdown on their banners, doing a you know, quote unquote, should you summon video. So I talk about these banners in depth in that video. So I'm not going to go super in depth here, but just to, I guess, summarize what I talked about in that video, both these banners, um, when you compare them to each other, I would say that the Rose, I mean, it's not surprising, but the Rose banner is just way better than the Vegito banner. Um, but based off of my initial impressions of both the characters, I do feel that Vegito is fairly better than rosé i mean again i've only used them once each in their initial showcase video so i'm gonna have a lot more testing that i need to do here but vegito certainly feels like the more dominant character but rosé's banner is just so much better than vegeto's so take that as you will all right next we have the new uh login screen here legends is getting a limited time makeover for a limited time the title screen will change to a special legends festival 2024 design and then they're also playing the uh, the Dragon Ball Super opening in PvP and stuff like that. Uh, we have Legends Festival medals. We'll, so I think what we'll do actually at the end of this video is we'll go through a lot of the exchange shops and talk about some what some of the rewards look like in there. Uh, there's a, again, one of the things that make these big celebrations really, really good, this uh, Legends Festival's anniversary, is just the amount of free rewards you get for just playing the game, logging in, stuff like that. So. Um, we'll go through some of those rewards uh, at the end of the uh, video, talking about some of the exchange shops. But this is one of the multiple exchange items that you can get your hands on during Legends Fest. Is a Legends Festival medal. Play various events and get your hands on Festival Medals 2024. You can exchange the medals you collect for exclusive backgrounds based on the cool main visuals. Or maybe even the sleeves of certain characters who played a major role in the original series. Um, furthermore... Past messages and costumes have been added to the lineup. This is a great chance to get items you miss. So yeah, like when we've had campaigns in the past, they do these limited time like card sleeves and um, like like profile backgrounds and stuff like that. So if you missed out on those things, sometimes they bring those back in these exchange shops. So this is a good chance to get caught up. Maybe if you weren't playing at the time or something like that. Um, then we have missions, of course, which, you know, just over the course of Legends Fest, they're going to be releasing missions. And if you complete all the missions, it says you can get out on uh, you can uh, Get up to 4,000 CC, I guess. But that's remember, that's over. That's not immediately you're going to be able to get 4,000 CC. That's over the course of the entire celebration, which is going to run probably until like the beginning of January. That's usually where Legends Fest ends. Um, then we got some titles here, too. We have this banner, Festival Celebration, three Legends Limited, guaranteed 100 times free summon. Uh, so this is a ticket banner that you collect. Uh, so you collect the tickets via mission. So I would just check the missions tab, but they, do, they shouldn't be too hard. It's like... I think some of the missions are like visit the shop screen, like KO a certain amount of characters, use this kind of character, use this tag, stuff like that. Introducing a huge summon that you can play 100 times at once, collect 100 of the uh, special summon tickets and try it out. Out of the 100 consecutive pulls, the last three are guaranteed to be Legends Limited. Additional Legends Limited characters will be added to the lineup for the 100th pull of Step 2. So yeah, there's just going to be free characters here. You can get characters that they show on there, like uh, Blue 17, Blue Kaioken Goku Evolution, Blue Vegeta, the Red Beast Gohan, and then Transforming UI Goku. And then there's going to be more, apparently, as uh, you go through the steps. But again, it's just free stuff. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Legends Festival uh, 100 times Summon Ticket Missions. Yeah, this is what we just talked about. So this is, I think, the way to get tickets uh for the banner up here so yeah 
Uh, okay, you can get Goku and Frieza there too. Legends Festival 2024 Summon. A summon uh, in celebration of the Legends Festival is on. The powerful lineup includes Legends Limited characters, 20% sparking rates, plus th a sparking characters are going to be consecutive summons. Yeah, do not summon on this. They drop this every single year for Legends Fest and also for every single anniversary. This is like... They try to make this look enticing because it's three sparkings guaranteed on each multi. This is not worth it. Trust me. Do not summon on this. Legends Festival 2024 ticket summons. Uh, this is just normal tickets. So these tickets are actually different than uh, these tickets. These are for the 100 summon. Obviously, they tried to make... Oops. They tried to make it pretty obvious by just putting a gigantic 100 on these tickets. These are just normal summon tickets that I think you could actually get your... Uh, you can get more of via the gold plates, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But uh, this is just a normal ticket banner that's separate from the 100 ticket banner. Uh, these Legends Limited... What is it? No, no. So there's actually... So there's Legends Festival 2024 summon tickets. Then there's Legends... Yeah, there's three types of tickets here, huh? There's regular summon tickets. There's sparking guaranteed summon tickets. And then there's Legends Festival 2024 Legends Limited guaranteed summon tickets. So, there's a bunch of different uh, tickets here. I guess there's going to be three separate banners. So, it's just, yeah, just more or free uh, summons there. Then we have raids that are going on right now. Again, we'll take a look at the exchange shop at the end of this video. Challenge yourself with non-stop raids throughout the festival. Festival raids are special raids where the boss and rewards change each time. Boss number one is Half Corrupted Fusion of Masu. Exchange raid medals for Chrono Crystals and collect raid honors to aim for Legends Limited Multi-Z Power. Yeah, so the raid honors, you get those via doing the missions for the raids. You don't actually get the raid honor via, uh, like, as a drop from the raid event itself or through the exchange shop. You actually get it through the mission tab. So, just keep... Keep keep that in mind. You can get like Legends of the Z Power as well, so it's pretty good. Uh, this I think I think is new. I don't remember them doing this last year. This Festival Ultra Space Time Rush. They did a Super Ultra Space Time Rush. I believe it was for the anniversary. And I think maybe last year during Legends Fest they might have also done this. But I don't think we've ever had it referred to as a specific Festival Ultra Space Time Rush before. Uh, it says, great for beginners and returnees in celebration of Legends Festival 2024. A limited time ultra space time rush is here. Use every fighter at your disposal to take on a series of enemies in this all out battle of endurance. Take on this event using the new characters you've received from summon tickets that have an element advantage. Uh, yeah, I think I think they talked about this being five times the normal ultra space time rush. We could actually take a look at this in a little bit, but I haven't actually done this yet. Uh, but any any additional way to get the uh, Zenkai Rush Medals is uh, very good because those are pretty scarce resources. Um, looks like we're also going to get tickets from doing this and also the title. Okay. Uh, there's a choice battle up, which you can do to just get more free stuff. You pick what items you want to get. Legends Festival 2024 special login bonus. That's pretty self-explanatory. You should get free stuff for logging in every day. Uh, and then here's the uh, Festival Challenge. This is the roulette login bonus, I think. So again, it's just literally just free stuff. And then every three logins, I believe, was you have like the special one, which I think you can get. Well, at least last year, I believe it was Legends of Z Power. I think it was an item pack and CC, I believe, is what the special one can get you. There's three options for that one. Uh, there's a new PvP season, which is pretty standard. It's just uh, how long is this actually? It's three weeks, it looks like. About three weeks. It's a little bit. No, actually, it's a little. It's a little less than three weeks because the, the, yeah, because this because the um, season started on Friday, so it's it's they're trying to ca okay. So it ends on the eleventh. The eleventh might actually be when part two begins. If that's the case, hmm. Okay, I mean that's interesting to note. So this goes until the eleventh, but it's for all intents and purposes a pretty standard PvP season. I don't think there's anything different here. It's just you're gonna get. Uh, the same type of like uh, metal for doing matches and you can exchange those for things in the shop which again we'll take a look at later this equip i think is actually pretty good uh they're doing the festival treasure battle thing as well so you get instead of getting resources directly from doing the, the treasure battle usually when you do treasure battle you get treasure chests afterwards and that's how you get rewards but for this one you're going to be getting these boat these bouquets the flower bouquets um and then you can exchange those in the exchange shop for you guessed it free stuff Adventures, which I'm assuming everybody watches this video is familiar with. Just more free stuff through that. 
Uh, we got a new piece of equipment through the Ultimate Equipment Collection, which is, it seems okay. I, I don't think it's going to be like, oh my god, you need to use this on Vegito or something like that. It just seems it seems like a pretty good equipment for somebody who just doesn't have like a lot of awakened equips or unique equips. So decent, decent equipment there. Uh, there is an upgrade Bonanza active. This is going to go for a week from the beginning of the celebration. So until next Friday, this will be up. So take advantage of this. Just, just keep in mind, though, there is going to be, presumably, an ultra upgrade Bonanza at the end of the festival. That's how they've done this for the past, uh, well, two big celebrations. They did the same thing for Anniversary, where when they release the ultra character, which is almost assuredly going to be in part three, they'll do an ultra upgrade Bonanza, which is a, just a better version of this mega upgrade Bonanza. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, we have the gold plates. I did an entire separate video going over the gold plates, but essentially what this is, is between the period of November 1st, 2023 and November 1st, 2024, uh, for every 1,000 Chrono Crystals that you have spent within that period, you get a uh, you get gifted one gold plate. So if you spent 10,000 CC, you get 10 gold plates. If you spent 100,000 CC, you get 100 gold plates, and you can use those gold plates to exchange for items in the shop, which we will look at in a little bit. Um, how to get festival plates silver. Okay, yeah, it looks like you could actually get these via the uh, Ultra Space Time Rush Festival Edition as well. And then there's going to be a bunch of stuff we can get in there. Marvelous Legends Mondays. They did this last Legends Fest as well. Festival celebration. Every week we will be uh, bringing you a super exciting day where something happens. Um, so what's the best way to explain this? It's kind of an interesting thing that they do with this. It's like they give you hints to like, oh... To clear the stage that has like Goku's master in it or something and then you have to go find the stage with has, which has like Master Roshi in it and then you get like an extra bonus for doing that or something so they've done that sometimes these are, these just end up being like equipment bonanzas for one day sometimes it's extra zenny stuff like that so it's pretty it's pretty again it's just like a, like a free perk for playing the game on Monday I, I don't really think it's anything game changing but it is nice Super boost campaign for newer players is really nice, and that sort of goes hand in hand with the main story progress support campaign, um, where this, the, doing the main story for like newer players costs no energy, and then the super boost campaign is really helpful for getting extra zenny and experience for your characters to train them up in terms of their levels. So these two things are, you know, they're not that rare that they do these, but it's pretty nice for newer players. Anything that I missed, let me just check the individual tabs here. So we have the summons here, we have the sales. Uh, Dima's going on, we got the banner, we got the raid, raid missions, choice battle, PvP season, treasure battle, the login bonus. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at this Ultra Space Time Rush Festival Edition. New equipment in the Ultimate Collection, upgrade Bonanza, we got some Dragon Ball the Breakers uh, promotion here. Uh, Festival Adventure, and then that should be just about everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out. I wanna actually just take a look here. What does this look like? This is Festival Ultra Space Time Rush. That's perfect for newcomers. So I wonder if they're making this pretty, pretty easy. Let's take a look at this. What does this look like? Anytime you want to look. Okay, there we go. So there's, oh, it's, it's split up by element. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So can we like look at the details here? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And it looks like you can get 40, 60, 80, 100. So you can get 100. So you can get... You can get like 500 silver plates to this. Plus all like the normal Zenkai metal stuff. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good event. It's just free stuff. I don't... Usually when events say perfect for newcomers on it, they're usually very easy. So... I don't think it should be that difficult, and it's just free stuff. I, I, I This is a good addition, actually, because, again, I don't think they did this last year, so this is a pretty good thing. Other than this, I don't know if there's anything new that they did not do in the prior Legends Fest last year. I think everything else is pretty much the same. Let's take a look at the exchange. Uh, by the way, co-op is going to reset next week as well, so we're going to be getting um, on Wednesday, I believe, right? Let me just, let me just double check. How many days left does it say for co-op? Three days, yeah. So on Wednesday, that will reset. And uh, we'll be getting a new co-op unique equipment, which is future related because they did show the art of it. I believe it had Mai on the art. All right, so let's take a look at some of these exchange shops here. So we have the Legends Festival Metal Shop, which uh, has a bunch of different like card sleeves and stuff like that in here. We got uh, Fragment Exchange Metals, which are pretty rare. 
Seed exchange metals, which are pretty rare. Slot removers are a pretty scarce resource in this day and age. Arts cores, I would say you can probably not have to worry about that. Uh, skip tickets if you need. Oh, there's only, you can get 200 for, for, for 15 for once only. Okay. Uh, there's PVP messages. And then I don't even know why they have this tab. I've, have I ever, have they ever even put anything in the customized tab? I don't even know why they have that. All right. Then we got the gold plates shop. So the gold plate shop has, uh, like I said, a bunch of cosmetic stuff with the card sleeves and backgrounds and, and profile icons and stuff like that. PVP messages. And then a lot of older, like cosmetic items too. So if they released during a campaign, you weren't playing the game during when they released, you could come in here with your gold plates and potentially get, get some of those. There's a bunch of souls in here as well. So Zenkai souls, we got rising souls and we got super souls. So if you're running short on something, you want a Zenkai character, you want a arts boost a character, you can get your hands on some of those resources here. And then other, we got uh, 10 million zenny and then 100 million zenny for one silver and one gold plate respectively, gold bells, training items. Slot removers, platinum coins, energy skip tickets, equipment medals, and rare medals. I, I would recommend that uh, you guys clear out the equipment medals in here. The raid is very good. This, this is going to be six. No, it's actually it's, it's going to be 5,000 equipment medals for 30 gold plates. That's pretty good. I see a lot of people talking about how rare equipment medals are. So if you're running low on something like equipment medals, I think this is the best shop that I, th I think this is the, the shop that has the best rate to get equipment medals out of any shop in the game. And that's been pretty consistent since two years ago when they started doing this gold plate thing. I think it was, two, maybe it was three years ago, but the equipment metals um, rate, exchange rate here is pretty good. So if you're running low on equipment metals, I would recommend buying these out here. All right, so that's that one. We have the Legends Festival countdown shop, which if you did all of the, uh, I think if you did all the missions that you needed to for the countdown, you should have 60. I believe I did all of them. So I think 60 is what you can have here. You can get uh, 100 Legends Limited Z Power, which I'm actually going to use this for, I think it's Goku Black who needs this, or no, I think it's Vegeta who needs this for me. Uh, then there's regular Multi-Z Power, and then you got ex Extreme Multi-Z Power, and then you have just the standard set of resources in here. Slot Movers, Gold Bells, Energy, and Skip Tickets. Uh, and then we have the Festival Raid Shop which I have actually been farming the raid a little bit today. So I have 13.5 thousand <laughs> medals here. Uh, standard stuff in here, CC, Z power, uh, cosmetic, PVP messages, seed medals, arts boosting uh, cores, and then some standard resources like, like slot movers. The festival dual shop has uh, this equipment. I, I would highly recommend farming up. I personally, I think actually this is worth going for three of these. This is a really good equip. 15% base blast attack, 10% to base health, and then 20% to base blast defense with 15% to uh, pure blast attack if you have a character Saiyan, as long as you're on the Future Trunks saga. This is a really good equipment. If you're a blast character and you're going to be, and you're, if you're a blast Saiyan on the Future Trunks saga, you're using this equipment. You're essentially almost guaranteed using this. This is pretty good. Um, so definitely buy that out. Um, we have some messages, Z-Power, yes, yeah, standard stuff in here. And then we got some normal resources over here, which you can get. Uh, Fragment exchange metals, I would recommend that. Uh, then we have the treasure battle shop as well. Again, like I said, you do treasure battle every day. You get the bouquets that you need uh, to exchange for these items here. Again, pretty self-explanatory, free stuff, more resources. And I believe that is it. I mean, we have the technically the festival adventure shop, but I don't think there's anything different in here. Oh, they actually have this. They give us a card sleeve, huh? Okay. Uh, but everything else I think is the same in here. Yeah, so just more free stuff there. And that about covers part one of Legends Fest. Uh, again, I don't believe there's anything that's really too different from the uh, past, from 2023 Legends Fest. The only thing that we didn't really see yet is the Hoi Poi coin campaign, which I think they said is going to start in December. So I think either next week or the week after they'll start doing the hoi poi coin stuff but that's also another way to get free stuff that they did last year too so uh let me know what you guys think of legends festival 2024 part one not really too different from 2023 but i don't really think that's a terrible thing considering that the 2023 campaign was also a very good campaign i just would like to see some innovation moving forward but let me know what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one